yeah. All this money made me bored, yeah. But there's lots of drugs to explore, yeah. I'm a boss, yeah, I could employ, yeah. Couldn't buy one, now I got four, yeah. Alright, how's everyone doing today? It's Hype Frag and I am back with a brand new video. Now this is sort of an updated video of a video I had made over a year ago when I was around 13 and I was just starting out YouTube and I felt like I needed to update it and go more into depth of the settings. Now this is going to be an update version of the best settings video I did. So I hope you guys do all enjoy today's video. A lot of you were commenting that I'm a noob for using them settings. I apparently I didn't know what I was talking about or something like that. I mean, PS4, uh, GTA 5 was kind of new back then. So, well, not kind of new, but a year old ish. So I, I didn't really know, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead and, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a more in depth update and uh, let's get into this. We're gonna go ahead and open up the pause menu now you can do this just by clicking options i'm pretty sure every gta 5 player knows how to do this now we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at settings in gta 5 online and gta 5 story mode so let's go ahead and go into controls now the controls i use just says this is just a show controls for a bit now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what targeting mode i prefer to use now assisted aim partial is probably the best one because it helps you aim it's assisted aim and uh if you put full if you put assisted aim full you're just going to be locking onto people way too hard etc you won't be able to aim off them so um i'm gonna go ahead and go for assisted aim partial and i will be testing out these things afterwards for you guys free aim assisted basically all that is is like you don't lock onto people or people you want to kill and now there's different targeting modes you can select using the interaction menu in online but we're not online yet so we're just going to go ahead and keep it at assisted aim partial now vibration that's obviously the player's choice if you like vibrations with your controller if you don't just turn it on or off i'm keeping that on now invert look of course you guys should know what this is it's where you can basically invert everything ha well the look you use it's basically turning everything opposite if that makes any sense don't know how to explain it more and third person control type, I'm just going to be using the default GTA control type because that's the one that I grew up to learn. And um, first person control type, I'm using standard FPS. Now I really do like this control type because it's, as a Call of Duty and FPS player, it's really helpful. I mean, they standard FPS, there's alternative S, alternate FPS, and there's also Southport S FPS and alternate plus Southport. And there's standard FPS 2, all of that, etc. Now, some people, PS4 users, um, I don't know really how to say this, but in Black Ops, Call of Duty, etc., most people on PS4 use L1, R1 to shoot. But since I was coming from like Xbox and stuff, I had to switch it. So from then on, I've just had it as I shoot using R2 and I aim using L2. But most people use the top triggers. And it's up to you, if you whichever one you want to use but i'm just going to keep it at standard fps now the third person aiming sensitivity i don't want to keep this too high or too low so like just keep it medium now third person and first person will be the same so i just keep these around pretty much the same exactly the same actually so i do not like switch off third person or and then go into first and have to aim slower than usual etc so first person look around sensitivity this is just like while you're walking etc like i'll just demonstrate while you're walking the look around sensitivity just like this just looking at objects in the game etc so that's all that setting is and um it's the same for third person just like when you're turning the camera around your player in third person now the aim look dead zone i just keep this at max i don't know why but i just keep it at max and now i keep the look acceleration max because i think that helps how fast you aim into a character or aim into an enemy like if i want to aim into this guy i looked in really fast if i want to aim into that guy I looked in really fast you get the gist so now once we've got them settings done um 
got the acceleration done i keep allow movement while zoomed on because last video i kept it off because i didn't actually really know how to zoom in while moving but apparently you just push up on the d-pad while holding the zoom in button for the sniper rifle and you can zoom in and out it's really helpful if you're playing dark hunt or something just trying to you know trying to live in the free mode free mode hell that is gta 5 and switch handbrake with dark hydraulics that'll just switch your r1 with x so then basically complete opposite settings i'm keeping that off because i just like having um r1 as the hand brakes and x like on the oppressor for the wings now drive by control i'm keeping it as fire because that's how it was back in the day in last gen gta 5 because i don't really like to have to aim say like you're throwing a sticky bomb that takes a bit of time i don't really like to have to aim while in a car especially if you're the driver it's like if you have a sticky bomb you can just uh hold r1 and throw it and then detonate it but with this you have to aim in take your time could possibly get killed now this is only for ps4 i think light bar effects like when you have the cops the light bar will flash red and blue etc and uh, when you're just in a normal session it will be the color of your crew and restore defaults hell no um audio i keep the audio on to surround speakers because i do have a gaming headset so as i turn i like to be able to hear things like i said like in call of duty etc and I keep retain radio volume on. I keep these not too high, just like one down from the max. Dialogue boost, I do not give a dialogue boost. I mean, I probably should do that. Let's just go ahead and put, keep it on medium. And this is just the default radio station you wanna be listening to. I don't really like listening to the radio in GTA, to be honest with you, apart from when I'm in a race or a playlist, etc. Like I said, this is just the output. Headphones, or this is just some headphones I have in my house. Um yeah if you have stereo speakers like if you have a tv just keep it like that but i'm keeping it surround if you have a headset this is probably the best setting surround speakers then you can just change like as you can see the headphone logos are just moving you can change it to how you would want it to be i'll say medium's the best now we're gonna go ahead and go into camera allow independent camera modes is probably one of the most undermined um settings ever because if you allow independent camera modes say like you're in first person you can just allow independent camera modes really helpful i don't really know how to explain more on that but i just like it like that and vehicle camera height i like it on low not high because i don't want to be looking like i'm zooming in from the clouds when you spawn in on gta so i keep that to low first person auto level yes so because the camera in first person can be a bit weird to look at sometimes now field of view I keep this max most of you will come have it as default as this i think now if you look it looks really zoomed in uh, i really like it zoomed out because it looks so much better i don't know if you guys were able to tell the difference but just look at this you can just get much more on your screen than you usually would in first person so after that um we're gonna have first person combat roll on of course because if you don't have that ticked off all it really does is takes you in third person when you're in first person trying to combat roll first person ragdoll ragdolling if you guys don't know is basically if you hold the jump button and press the circle but i don't know which this will be on other consoles etc so just like like this for example that's a ragdoll and i'll just show you guys in third person that's all a ragdoll is and when you're falling etc off the building that's ragdolling so and head body head bobbing i really do hate that that's that weird really weird effect you get while you're walking in first person your, ca your camera's just bouncing up and down just keep that off keep don't turn it on and first person third person cover i keep that off because i like going into covering first person that's just if you want to go into third person as soon as you take cover and do not tick this just wherever you do don't tick that otherwise you won't be able to see the steering wheel or anything just don't tick that or we'll just keep it off and auto center yes uh first person drive yes so that's the camera now once we go into display uh, obviously you want to have the radar on but i mean you could put it on blips or just have it off i take it off when i want to take thumbnails etc for etc for glitches but i'm going to keep it on obviously now and weapon target I keep mine in simple some people like to have it on complex but i keep it simple and you can just increase the size of your reticle here 
and GPS route. That's where you can set waypoints, etc. Brightness, just keep it how it is. Save zone size, I just keep that how it is. In game depth for field effects. Now, what that is, is uh, I would have to go online to show you, but say you're looking in a scope and you're looking really fine the distance, it'll kind of blur out the distance. And if you look, take the scope off, you'll be able to see it clearly. If that makes any sense. And screen kill effects, that's just blood, etc. All of that. Subtitles off, and my measurement system is, of course, Imperial. So, as far as notifications go, I'm just going to keep this phone alerts on, status on, crop this, all of this on, and message frequency. You have this as default on two minutes. I'm just going to keep this on to no delay because I like when my friends can send me messages instantly. Now Rockstar Editor, I hardly use this at all, just hardly. It's just some random settings you guys can choose by yourself and starting and save up, I load into GTA because I hardly play story mode, I've completed the story mode countless number of times. And auto save, yeah just keep that on. Motion sensor now. If you do turn these on, it's really cool because reload, you can shake your PS4 controller and it will reload in game. Boat, you can actually control your boat with the motion sensor. Bike, you can tr control your bike using motion sensor. Like, say if you pull forward, they'll throttle your bike forwards. Same with the aircraft, you get the gist, like you can control it. So, I just, I don't know, I like to keep these off just in case I accidentally like crash or something. But reload, I'll keep that on now. And that is it for today's video, I hope you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new, hope you enjoyed this updated version, it's been Frag and I'm out guys, peace.